Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I don't have, um, I'm on bad terms with Bungo. <laughs> a lot of people are right now, sadly, but I, I'm still, I, I'm still excited. Even though, I haven't read the, the report from today, but I've heard it's less than exciting. I was gonna read it on stream, but I was late, because I had to drive home from work right as they fucking released it, just like they always seem to fucking do. Um, but... Uh, no, nah, I don't blame you. I don't blame a lot of people for being on bad terms with Bungo. Uh, they've been, uh, they've been a little difficult to deal with lately. But I still love Destiny. Destiny would be my main squeeze if I had to pick one. What they put out today is just more of the same shit, man. Oh, did you read it? Uh, I mean, I glanced at it. It's just, you know how they said pretty much all they're gonna be doing is event-based DLC? Yeah. Instead of, like, actual DLC, it was just saying what the next one's gonna be, and it's fucking underwhelming as I anticipated and called At the same time, time though, ago. how much money are you paying for it? None, but I would still rather pay money for substantial DLC than get free minuscule DLC that isn't even enough to make me pick the game up. My like, argument... This event-based shit, it's not enough to make me be like, oh yeah, I wanna do that. My argument, my counter-argument to all that is a lot of people are like in year one we got this 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 and this oh no oh no oh no oh come on there's got to be a way for me to are you fucking kidding me right now But it's kind of fucking funny. <sighs> no, everything's okay. <sighs> what a bunch of shit. Um, uh, yeah, I know that it's not okay. What I'm getting a lot of right now is I. Uh, that year one we got this 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 and this which that song just ended on its own i didn't my mouse is in this hand over here i don't i don't know i didn't do that um okay so what i would say is that uh in year one we got all these dlcs they were announced ahead of time we knew what they were well you know, anyone with half a brain knows that those DLCs were originally game content that were withheld from us, put behind a money gate. You know, yeah. a pay gate. Yeah, Which absolutely. sucks, but that's just the way it is. That's how these things work. Well, they've said the Dreadnought was supposed to be in Vanilla, and it got cut. Which is stupid. So there's um, really no denying it. People still try and deny it. It's like, dude, they fucking said that they did that. Like, you can't, you can't say it. it's not true. Um, and then, so you have those pay gates that they decided to put up instead of just giving us the full game, which is just how games work these days, as shitty as it is, it's just how it works. Um, oh, I should go grab ammo. Um, but, there, there's basically been all but confirmed evidence that we are going to get Destiny 2 the fall of this year. So, what game, like let's, I, I use Borderlands 2 as an example actually. Borderlands 2, uh, Gearbox released four DLCs to go with it, correct? And then, once they released the four main DLCs, they started working on their other big projects. And they released these little uh, headhunter packs for, you know, three dollars a piece or whatever. And they lasted you about 40 minutes. You know, maybe an hour of gameplay each for $3. To me, a headhunter pack sounds a hell of a lot like SRL. Is that a fair a fair comparison? Um, the only problem I would have with that comparison is that the headhunter packs you keep. And you can go back and play them as much as you want. This event-based DLC, you can only play it when they decide to flip the switch and let you play it. Now, I get that, but let me make a small comparison that, that'll counter that. 
And I know that it's something that's disagreeable, and I agree that I would have rather bought it, but you bought the Headhunter pack, you didn't buy SRL. And SRL dropped me three 320 helmets that helped me reach 320 on two of my characters. So, that is something that I can keep. It's just, that's just one person's opinion, that's just one person's point of view. No, I can um, see where you're coming from, but I, but what I'm saying is I would rather pay a few dollars for SRL and be able to do it whenever I whenever I please. I didn't buy SRL socks. I didn't buy SRL at all. I bought add-ons to SRL because I enjoy the add-ons, but SRL was 100% free. Um, you didn't have to pay for any of that unless you wanted to. I understand that it was based on trying to get you to spend money on microtransactions. I understand that completely, but there was no, like... There was no nece like necessity to buy those. In fact, I know a number of people who, in protest, didn't buy them, but still played SRL to get the drops. Now, the point that I'm, the, the major point I'm trying to make here is, after you got your four main DLCs from Borderlands, some big, some small, like I'm never gonna play Torg again. I played through Torg a couple of times. I'm never gonna play through Torg again. I didn't even care for Hammerlock's DLC at all. I just didn't. It wasn't. Tiny Tina's was at worth twice what they offered because that yeah. DLC is incredible. But there's some that just didn't do anything for me, and that's just how it is. Um, now I know I'm in the minority, but there's the, the, those four DLCs came out, and then they stopped offering DLCs, and they came out with these little headhunter packs. Um, Bungie is now working on major title number two with the Destiny community. Yeah, more knuckle puck. Um, I don't expect a lot out of this year. I, there's no way we're getting a raid. Let's just... Um, so Gearbox didn't even make the first three DLC packs? Like, like that means you... Okay, that actually counters your argument. My argument then. Like, or your argument. D Gearbox did even less for the game. So they made Tina's, the other three they didn't make, and you got all, of those are the three you got, which three weren't Gearbox. Like, so basically the point being, Destiny has given us three DLCs here. They gave us the Dark Below, um, House of Wolves, and the Taken King. They say there's another big thing coming. I don't know how big, but... In the fall, we're gonna get a $60 board, essentially what I assume will be Destiny 2 size release on its own disc. Um, and the Headhunters were awesome. Guess what, SRL was awesome. If you didn't like it, that's on you. I never played the Headhunter packs because I felt no need to play them. I loved he uh, SRL. I got five 320s out of it, had a ton of fun, played custom games with my friends, and was able to, to race against myself and beat my own times. So it's all a matter of opinion at that point. I think in Destiny, they're doing everything just fine. Yes, the microtransactions are a bit uh, complicated and it's a matter of where you stand on microtransactions, whether or not you want to partake in those. But as a whole, they've done nothing wrong and the fact that they offered us a title that has lasted us a year and a half worth of gameplay and we're still playing it is huge! Halo 5, which I'm a huge Halo fan, lasted me like a week and a half and was like, I'm never gonna play this again. I'm thinking about selling it. And I bought one of the collector's editions. I'm that big of a fan. I don't like it. It's a bad game. Destiny is incredible to me. Yes, Bungie has fucked up by not telling us what to expect. Because in year one, we knew what to expect, and this year we don't. Yeah, but at the same time, I think I think one of the big mistakes is keeping us so updated in year one, honestly. And that's because they took all this shit out of the game that they already knew they had, and said, here, this is what you're going to get. Like, it was from the get-go, buy our game, look at all the shit you're going to get with it. It wasn't just like, you're going to be bored of this in six months, it was, you're going to get at least a full year of gameplay out of this. Why do people always request this song? I'm skipping it. Um... But... So I'm not- I'm not calling you a liar, Blue. I'm asking this out of honest ignorance, um... Oh, that's fine. 
what, I can... what, what is it that they said that makes you think that they're gonna drop Destiny, this Destiny 2, or something that size this year? I haven't kept up to date on like the weekly updates and shit, so I'm asking because I honestly don't know. A, a couple of things. One, um, Destiny Vanilla and The Taken King both dropped on the exact same day. I think it was September 15th. Yeah, the exact right. same day. Yeah, the Taken King um, came out exactly a year after Vanilla. And they have said in September of this year we are to expect a major Destiny release. A major Destiny release a year after the Taken King, two years after Vanilla. I mean, they've all but confirmed that it's going to be Destiny 2. Oh, tits. Oh, tits. Oh, tits. Um... And they said that after the, they, I mean, people who are disappointed with this announcement just clearly aren't keeping up to date with the community because they said the first release you're going to get from us this year is going to be on level with the Festival of the Lost, which I hated. I hated the Festival of the Lost. It was kind of fun for a minute. And then after that, it was like a money gated disaster to me. Yeah, but I agree. a lot of people enjoyed it. And it did add a little spice to things for a couple of days, which was neat. But um, wasn't as bad because I knew what was coming. And I wanted to get rid. Oh no, I totally agree, Crow. I actually deleted a character, or two characters, because I had three titans, and made a hunter and a warlock to get ready for the Taken King. So I mean, I totally get what you're saying. Um, the the oh no, I'm being too ballsy right now. I'm actually gonna get myself in trouble right now. Blow me up. That's fine. Sorry, I'm trying to get through here without dying. Um, the song is a legit Romanian song. Ah, that's cool, man. But everyone comes in here and requests it, so I skip it every time. It's nothing personal. It's just people for some reason want to request the shit out of that song and it annoys the crap out of me um but no i mean we're we're if i were you i would be comfortable expecting or or uh, destiny 2 this fall I, I my last my last guess before srl before that announcement was made i said whatever they announce at psx is going to be immediate and it is going to be free. And both of, I can go back and I can find the fucking streams. Because I said those things. And it was exactly that. I was spot on. Because I listened to like six different Destiny podcasts. I read like six different Destiny forums. I listen. I, I'm totally up to date on all the Destiny news and notes. And I had a pretty good idea of what was going to happen. Not to with the great detail. But I did know what to expect to a degree, and I was on spot. I was on point with it. And um, this DLC does not shock, or not DLC, but this event does not shock me at all. I'm in no way upset or surprised. Um, but in February or March, we are to expect the quote unquote biggest Destiny uh, drop we've seen since the Taken King. Those are their exact words. Now, that's not saying much, because all we have is SRL and, um, what is it, SRL and, uh, Festival of the Lost to compare it to, but that could mean something on the size of a, a revamped Prison of Elders, which I would take. I loved Prison of Elders, but the rewards were garbage, so... Yes. If they gave me a revamped Prison of Elders with taking multiple bosses, kind of like taking um, Court Prison of, of Elders and the Court of Oryx and mashing them together yeah. and giving me rewards worth getting, you know, 320 or if they even upped it to 330, you know, rewards and, and giving me something new to work on to work towards, that would be something awesome. Uh, yeah, Courtney, it's only been, the uh, Spare Racing League has only been around once. Maybe you can help me with what, Lily Coob? Lil Coob? Lil Coob? Cub? I don't know. What do you want to help me with? Um, they haven't brought it back yet, but I believe it's going to be an Iron Banner style thing. 
Um, well, I mean, Crows, jumping back to what you said a little bit earlier in the chat there, um, if you did a 24-hour run of Destiny and you chewed up all the uh, all the game, if I played 24 hours of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 tonight, I'd finish the story... <coughs> Where'd that come from? I'd finish the story mode and get pretty high level in multiplayer. Like, you do 24 hours of gameplay on any game, you know? I mean, think about it. $60 divided by 24. That's what you're paying per hour for that game. You know, it's just, I think that people expect so much out of these games now, and it's not realistic. That's just me. So, I think Destiny not having enough content for the hardcore players is not that out of place. It is not that wrong. There's casual, you know, only, uh, I think it's, whoa, wait a minute, what are you? Oh, it's just another fucking dart. Oh, I'm full? That's garbage. Um... What are those? Uh... I just... I, I think... Uh, what is it? With the raids... Um... 8% of gamers, or of Destiny players, have, have completed a raid. Any raid. Or no, it's up to, no, wait, 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 that's King's Fall. 20% uh, of Destiny players who own the game have completed any raid on any difficulty. That includes Vault of Glass right now, which you can run with like three people and have no issue. Like, 20%, that's it, you know? the. The hardcore fans that make up such a large number of these play, like well, not a large number, a large, uh, a, a small number of players, but a large number of content creators, are trying to dictate where this game should go when the masses can't even get into the end game. Yeah, nine percent have beaten King's Fall raid, but overall of any raid, it's like twenty-two percent or something like that have completed a raid, which. Completed a raid. Like, think about how broad that statement is. Any, like, easy, like, normal mode, um, t uh, uh, what the fuck? I just said it. Vault of Glass. N normal mode Vault of Glass, which is level 26. Look, you could go run through that right now with, like, four of your buddies and beat it without even trying. Nope. Honestly, dude, Crow is even easier than that. Less but I'm, I'm just, I'm, yeah, that's true. You can solo it, so yeah, easily. You know, it's just one of those things. What's going on, Saguno? Um, yeah, Crota's end was a strike. Let's just be honest. It was. Yeah, dude, I've been saying that for a while. It was like a long glorified. It it was pretty much like that, but I mean. Okay, if you sit there honestly and tell me to my face that beating Crota the first time on hard was not hard, you're lying. Well, the problem Crota with that, though, is it was artificial difficulty. It wasn't yes and no, but, but but at the same time, it was it, we struggled with it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everyone yeah, struggled with it. That. Beating, you know, when you had Glohu, you, you flaunted that shit. <laughs> Dude, I remember the days of the tower being flooded with Glohu. I remember the first time I saw Glowhoo and was like, what the fuck is that? I want it. Like, Same. <laughs> so, um, so basically my point here is we shouldn't be giving Bungie too hard of a time for what they're offering because at the end of the day, we should be expecting essentially a triple a title at the end of the year and if they don't offer that to us go for it you know no holds bar 
if they go, oh yeah, here's a another Taken King on September 15th of this year, go for it. Tear him a new asshole. I don't care. Like, all right. But I would much rather be getting little tiny drops of free uh, events this year and get an amazing game at the end of September. Because, like, think about it. Uh, Assassin's Creed has had a yearly release for, what, how many years now? Six years? Seven years? And they finally, Ubisoft, U Ubisoft, whatever, has finally announced we're not doing yearly releases of that game anymore. I saw it the other day. Basically because they're not producing good content anymore. So wouldn't you rather them stop focusing on giving us Crota's End style raids for, you know, nine months while they perfect Destiny 2? That's what I want. I can play Borderlands. I can play Black Ops 3. I can play any, uh, uh, you know, Far Cry Primal, um, The Division. Like, how many good games are coming out still this year? Like... I can play those games, you know, and I can be excited about Destiny when it comes out. I don't need to play Destiny, even though that's my main my main squeeze is Destiny. I don't need to lie down with Destiny every single night. I can wait for it to get better. I can I can if if you love her, let her go, you know. <laughs> Saguno, blue for president. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not not for president, man. Maybe for president of Activision, but uh, <laughs> I would take that role in a heartbeat. So about these microtransactions, guys. GTFO. <laughs> We're gonna start making games the way they should be made, fucking Mad Dog style. <laughs> We're bringing the creators. Miss, you ever miss of... the simpler days of gaming when you just oh, hell yeah. and you had the game? Yeah, you. That. Oh man, back when I bought like, oh shit, oh fuck you, fuck you guys, fuck you guys. That's right, that's right. Fuck off, all of you. Woohoo! And I'm just cutting it close constantly now. Um, let's go, blue. <laughs> I would much rather them take a longer period of time for better quality. Uh, over uh, the uh, better time. Wait, I would much rather them take a longer period of time for better quality over rushed DLC. Okay, um, I understand what you're saying now. It took me a second to process that in my brain hole. Um, I agree, and that's the point that I'm trying to make, Crows. Exactly, and that's where I and that's that's where I fall. I want a good quality product, and I think Crota's End was just kind of kind of whipped together. Like we'll give them this DLC. You look at what they did with the Taken King, and people are like, "Yo, that was so expensive." Think back to when that game came out, and you had 17 missions or quests. You had 17 quests. You had what do we have? Fucking 16 bounty slots now or something. You had all this shit going on. You had exotic quests. You had secret missions popping up, like the Black Spindle and uh, No Time to Explain. And you had the raid, which was time-gated, but they all are. You had the whole storyline with these amazing cinematics. Like, if I get a full game like that, I want it.